this demo, I'm going to show you how Network Admin can pinpoint application performance and quickly resolve the problem using Cisco AVC and Action Pack Live Action Network Management tool. So let's say the Network Admin received complaint from the end users that Office 365 is running slow. He can use Live Action Application Performance Dashboard to get a history of top applications in the network. You can also drill down into the application performance metrics to determine that Office 365 is slowing down because BitTorrent is consuming a lot of the WAN bandwidth. You can then go to the device and monitor real-time application usage on the link. He also found out that his existing QoS policy cannot separate BitTorrent from Office 365 because it's still based on port, which is HTTP and HTTPS. He then switched to Nbar2 view, and then he found out that BitTorrent is still taking most of the WAN bandwidth. Using live action, he can do auto-generation of the QoS policy based on the applications that he currently has, push it down to the router, and quickly apply control to throttle down BitTorrent, which is the unwanted applications in his network. Almost immediately, he starts to see BitTorrent disappear from his network, and he sees that the performance of the Office 365 is recovering. After the network admin receives complaint from users that Office 365 is slow, he logs into live action. So we take a look at the flow dashboard where he can identify the traffic flow across the device in his network. He can filter to a particular site that he is interested in. He can see that the traffic from 2901 site, which is where the user complained about performance issue, is going to SPA Cloud into an ASR at the head end before it goes out to the internet. He can then go to the ABC dashboard to look at the application performance. Let's look at the report starting from 6 o'clock today. The application column lists all the applications reported by Inbar2 and the performance metrics coming from performance agent on ISRG2. Based on the traffic volume, BitTorrent is generating most of the traffic, and the Office 365 comes in second. Let's drill down to Office 365 to see where the problems start. Performance rate is the composite metric which quantifies user experience. We see the user experience start to degrade about 8 a.m. today. This is the same time Office 365 volume is going down. Let's take a look at BitTorrent. We see here that BitTorrent traffic start about the same time that the user experience for Office 365 start to degrade. You can also see the user and the server conversation for BitTorrent. We can pretty much conclude that BitTorrent is impacting Office 365 from these two reports. So let's now have a look at our QoS policy on this 2901 device. Because the QoS policy is still based on layer 4 to match on HTTP and HTTPS, both BitTorrent and Office 365 fall into the same QoS class. No differentiation between business critical and cloud applications and unwanted applications because they both go over HTTP. Let's now switch to Inbar2 view. This is the real-time chart and we see BitTorrent is still taking 30% of the bandwidth and leave about 10% to Office 365.
Let's generate a QS policy based on the current applications in the network. We see the peer-to-peer -peer group for BitTorrent. And now we will push that is config to the device, which is the ISRG2. So after you push the config, which is the QoS config to the device, your stat will start to get populated, which is what you see on the bottom screen. We see there's an in-bar peer-to-peer class that is taking about 30%. And we can also change it to the rate which show the absolute traffic rate for this particular class. Next step is to slow down BitTorrent by applying action. Let's police BitTorrent to 8K. You see, within a minute, BitTorrent traffic will start to disappear from the network because of the policer. And if you fast forward, like what we do now, we see that Office 365 is gaining back the bandwidth. So now we can go back to the Flow dashboard. We generate a report. Now we can see that Office 365 performance is improving. This concludes the demo. Just to summarize, Cisco ABC provides a very powerful tool to the network admin to be able to discover applications in the network, as well as to be able to monitor performance of the critical applications and be able to apply application-aware control such as QoS, which tie in with NBAR2 to improve and optimize the performance of the critical applications in the network. And then at the same time, be able to control or stop unwanted applications from using your network bandwidth. Thank you very much for watching.